And joining us for more on this is retired U.S. Marine Corps Lieutenant General Larry Nicholson. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan and also had experience in Gaza as a U.N. military observer. I want to talk about this hostage rescue for just a moment. Yesterday, Biden and Netanyahu, or maybe over the weekend, Biden and Netanyahu had a call. And Biden was basically saying, don't go into Rafah. And then Israel rescued two hostages that were being held in Rafah. So should the Biden administration take a step back here? You know, Dan, I, I think, uh, first of all, thank goodness for the, uh, the rescue of those two hostages down in Rafa. I, I think what the uh, administration is trying to press to Israel is to do what Israel has always done best. And the, the more exquisite, uh, the more focused uh, sort of uh, operations as opposed to, you know, dropping apartment buildings. And I, and I think that's where the administration's at. But uh, to, to ask them to stay out of Rafah completely makes no sense. I mean, we have some indication that that's where probably a lot of the hostages are. And certainly uh, we're uncovering a lot of the, uh, uh, you know, the, the understanding of, of how Hamas would operate. And sort of this is kind of the end of the, the Gaza Strip, the southernmost right the, with Egypt. So I, I think you've got to get in there. You've you got to look around. Uh, but I, I think the administration is asking them to, to be a little more deliberate. Uh, and uh, to be a little more, uh, you know, sort of exquisite with their intel-directed operations. Yeah, General, the reporting suggests that women and children on the Palestinian side were also killed during this raid. And you don't know all the particulars inside those buildings or what sort of warning they had or uh, how the IDF moved in. Here's how the Wall Street Journal characterizes it, okay? Uh, Hamas was right under UNRWA's nose. Uh, the United Nations Agency looked the other way, keeping Gaza safe for Hamas. It continues, does the UN expect the world to believe that a sophisticated engineering operation was begun by Hamas only in the past few months amid Israeli bombardment after UNRWA had moved. The day after the Gaza war would be a brighter one of UNRWA and Hamas exit the stage together. Just on that last point, General, what Netanyahu yeah, Bill, is saying look, to his own people and the world, and really, here's the question, and throughout the whole Middle East region, what he is saying is that Hamas is the equivalent of Al-Qaeda, and we cannot live next to al-Qaeda, we must wipe them out. Um, the Biden yeah. administration may want this conflict to wrap up very soon, but Netanyahu, based on his interview with Shannon yesterday, is absolutely convinced that Israel is going to take the entire operation out before it ends. Yeah. Bill, I tell you, incredibly troubling. And as a former UN guy, very discouraging to understand that, uh, you know, perhaps uh, UNRWA was, has been complicit and, and it's hard to imagine, based on uh, the evidence that's being presented, hard to imagine that uh, that, that they were not somehow, you know, working uh, working with uh, Hamas. Now we, we got to understand there's 30,000 members of UNRWA, uh, but uh, I think there's somebody's got some explaining to do how that construction occur uh, can occur under the headquarters of the United States uh, of the United Nations Relief uh, Workers uh, uh, Agency. How that can happen. Don't forget, too, Bill, 22 percent of the entire United Nations budget is provided by the United States. Yep. And so I, I think uh, certainly a lot needs to be explained. Uh, but this is a, a really troubling development and, frankly, a black eye for the United Nations. General Nicholson, thank you. We appreciate your time this morning. OK, thank yeah. you, Dan. Thank you, sir. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.